Hello viewers, this is Almost Stars, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. So we got some new stuff last time, let's check it out. First off, we got this thing, which turns out to be the sound player. So you see that music sheet over there on the uh, right column? Well, we can use the sound player in order to actually use it, so... The particular sheet over there is enemy sound, so like, any sound made by enemies in the game, this is basically what it all is. So, basically this is the sound test of the game. You basically get a... This, as you unlock the sound sheets and everything, you get a uh, new sheets of music to play. Yay, wheelie. But enough of that. So here we have a Vitaly heart that increased my Vitaly by one, so I could take an extra hit. And also we got three new spray paints. Carbon, chalk, and red. So not only could Carby, uh, Kirby be carbon neutral, but we can make him uh, red. So let's, for this video, let's make him red. Alright, let's start the game and get back into the action. Alright, so, first thing I would like to say is, um, I did a little research, and, um, on the map here, you see how these, uh, yellow squares are flashing? Well, if they're not flashing, that's a sign that the room does not have a- that the room has a treasure which I have not yet found. Yeah, orange squares, you haven't visited them yet. Flashing yellow squares, you've not only explored them, but you also found all the treasures there, so that's going to be a nice little reference to I'll be uh, looking for now, so to help me make sure I don't miss any treasures, so good to know. So let's go ahead and start making our way to the next area I want to go to. First though, let's get some power-ups. Why not? And go in here, and in this door. And I don't know why I didn't uh, actually use my power there, but oh well, I guess Kirby's uh, being stupid tonight for some reason. Yeah, I still love that uppercut. Ha ha! Awesome. And... Ha ha! I seriously just love that. Ha! Alright, so we got... Yeah. So there's some meat up there. I really don't feel like going out of my way to get it. Because it's really not worth it. And we got some enemies here who will try to kill us. Alright. Try not to die there like I did the first time I tried this little bit. Pick up some little stuff here. And try not to run into the kissy enemy. Because that just hurts. And just beat everyone up on the way. And just kill that thing. Why not? And we can get some free stuff here. Yay! Yeah, take that. You're not gonna blow me up. Alright, so there was actually a door hidden behind some of those blocks on the left there, but I wanted to show you this first. Basically, this door takes us to this room. And if I'll actually get it right, we can actually uh, kill the enemies. Yeah, fuck them up. Like that. Yeah. Alright, now, this is actually the same giant room we were in before. But we can actually find a secret over here. Not really a big secret. But in any case, it's actually pretty good. So, first off, I want to forsake the power I have right now and eat the sword guy. Okay, wait. You are a jerk, buddy. Okay, the fact is... <sighs> ah, God! You are a bastard. You really are. There we go. And we'll eat you again, so you can't cause me any more pain. More importantly, we get the map for Mustard Mountain, so let's check that out, if I remember which button's the right one. Yeah, so as you can see, this was like a dead-end room, but now we actually have a map we can refer to. Yeah. So, this is just going to be a reference we're going to see here, and uh, uh, eventually I might just go back along this path here, just to finish off what little bit of that side path there remains, and 
Yeah, there's another boss in this area. The way I figured it out is that there are nine areas in this game. This, the first area, we have no boss in, but every one of the eight areas surrounding it, um, will have a boss in it. Um, a good way to think of it is that where all my little, uh, Kirby friends are, that's the area one section. And you'll have, like, eight areas scattered around it, so each area will have a different boss. So, switch back to my main map here, and let's just get out of here. Yeah, you know what? Screw the sword guy. He's, he's a jerk. And so are those guys, because I'm terrible, terrible at this game. Oh god, I'm gonna die now. Yay! In the vortex. And just go down this way, why not? Oh right, this is a dead end. Yeah, I can't go down that way. Of course. Gotta break some blocks and actually break them, like that. Alright, so... Um, I'm hoping that Maximum Tomato respawned. Apparently it didn't. Well, I don't know, did it? No. This is another thing I hate. Well, that kind of figures. It really does. Honestly, I don't really care. Just let that guy fall and explode. Why not? Alright, so we're gonna have to work our way down the old-fashioned way. Yeah, see? Uh, make sure there's nothing else here. Okay, there's not. So we have a door here. Oh god. Don't want to fall down a pit. That would be very, very unhappy. That would make me frumpy, and we don't like me frumpy. Ah, sure. We'll get parasol power for now. Why not? And these guys just fall from nowhere. Why sure, why not? Um. You know, sure, why not? Oh god. Not what I wanted to do, but okay. Alright, so we actually got a, uh... Yeah, we see, as you can see, we got a little treasure down there, but we can't access it like this. What we gotta do, break this block and cross over to the other side. So yeah, you could've actually, if you had the right ability, you could've actually broke through it from the main passage there. But what I'd rather do is go into this next area here, forsake the beam power. See that missile guy? We want him. Okay. So, wait for him to get close enough to eat him. Oh. Huh. Huh. I guess I'm in the wrong area or something. Or wait, maybe it's in here. Here we go. This is where I want to be. Alright, this guy, he's going to be a bit of a jerk. Well, not so much a jerk, but there's an airflow going on here, as you can see. So we gotta kind of, uh, watch out. Okay, yeah, he's gonna be a little bit of a jerk, because I've forgotten ha his, uh, battle pattern. Okay, this is gonna take, a uh, maybe one or two attempts. One or two tenths, for sure. Yeah, okay, I think I've got his pattern down now. So basically, he just dive bombs and does stuff like that. Nothing too difficult. If he gets near the bottom, he'll shoot those missiles and... Oh. Okay, in that case, I just got a little too close for comfort. Eh... Uh. I might want to consider just, uh, 
Oh god. Yeah. Well, there you go. I died. <laughs>